Hi guys, thanks for joining for today's video. Today we're going to be continuing our insect series from the Facebook Lives that I have been running over on my Facebook page. And today we're going to be looking at doing some worms and a caterpillar. So let's start with the worm. I'm going to use the rose beige coloured Saracino modelling paste. I'll put links below the video for everything that I use in it. So I'm going to start by rolling it nice and long. So I've made one earlier, it's a little bit thicker around this bit. Now I thought the worm has a bit called a saddle or something but I might have completely made that up but we're gonna we're gonna keep it a tiny bit thicker there if you're struggling to roll it with your hands just use a cake smoother I'm trying to keep it a little bit bigger at one end which will be the head so just under where I want the head to be I'll roll a little bit thinner for sort of the top of the neck so we're going cartoony again for these we're not aiming for realistic at all the chunkier it is in the middle the easier it is to kind of hold it in a more upright position so we're gonna put these little rings around the worm, just using the Dresden tool to just press in all the way along. It's up to you how far apart you want to space them. Then I'm going to sort of wiggle the tail around to the position I want and lift sort of the head and neck upwards. So if your worm doesn't stay up, you can rest it against something. So I've used the cornflower poof. The other option is to put a cocktail stick inside it to hold it and it just gives it a bit more strength. Obviously, if anyone's going to be eating this, you would need to let them know to remove this cocktail stick. So I'm just going to push it down onto there. Just bend the head forwards. And then we can put some little eye sockets in using a balling tool. And it's up to you if you want large eye sockets or small eye sockets. Depends on the size of the eyes you want to put in there. Let's give this one some little eye bags. It's tired, it's had a hard day, a hard night. I'm just gonna make these a little bit bigger. You could make a snake in the same way if you change the color of it as well. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of pink dust. Now I'm using my petal palettes. I do sell these on my website guys, but I'll put a link below the video as well. I'm just making it a little bit pinker on the end of the nose. If you want a nice fluffy brush for this, I'm using uh, the Sylvia Mancini brush. Again, I'll put links below guys to all these things I'm using. Just a little bit on the body and then I'm going for a little bit more pink sort of between each of those lines that we've put in. A little bit of color just on those eye bags. And you see sometimes I'm swapping to little bits of shades of brown. I'm gonna roll two small balls of white modeling paste to put in there for the eyes. And on this one, I'm just gonna color in the pupils using a black edible pen. So these are the fractal pens that I'm using. You can stick it in with black paste if you prefer. Now I'm gonna give him some eyelids. So I'm rolling thin some of the rose beige color. So the same color we used on the body. We're cutting out two little circles with the plunger cutters and we're cutting them so they're a bit bigger than half a semicircle and they're just gonna sit on each of those white balls for the eyes. Just gonna add a tiny bit of pink dust to them just so they match the rest of the body a little bit. And I'm putting a little line along the edge of that just because the, the eyelids don't show overly well because of the color compared to the white eye. And then I just quickly wanted to show you that you can play around with the style. So if you want a different kind of face, so Richard likes Earthworm Jim. So I wanted to make something kind of in the, it's not the same as Earthworm Jim, but in that kind of style. So Earthworm Jim kind of has his head above his eyes. So we're different to how we made the last one. So like I say, it's not a full worm, this one. It was just very quickly to show you the difference. And you can do things like different sized eyes. There doesn't have to be two balls the same for the eyes. You know, it's very cartoony if you have them different sizes and a little bit more kind of comical looking. So see these lines that made the rings around the body? You can put them closer together. You can do different sized pupils. So we'll make them a bit smaller on this one. And you don't have to add eyelids, but obviously you can do again if you want to. And I'm just gonna stick my Dresden tool in there for a little mouth opening, keeping it very simple. So there you go, two completely different styles there. And of course you can dust some color on in the same way as we did on the other one. So for the caterpillar, we're gonna use some green modeling paste. You can get it pre-colored, or you can use a food color, and I used the Squires Pastels green for this one. Again, I'll put links below. So you're gonna take your green, we're gonna roll it out a little bit like we did for the worm, but not as thin. We're gonna leave it pretty chunky, pointy at one end, and we're just gonna leave it as it is at the other end at the moment. And we're gonna put some of those ring lines on just like we did with the worm, but these ones are gonna be pushed in fairly deep, and they're gonna be a little bit further apart. And now what we're going to do is we're going to position this so that the head end comes upwards and the tail end comes upwards. Now somebody in the Facebook Live did tell me what type of caterpillar it was. Apparently it turns into a moth and I have completely forgotten what kind. And also the little worm that you can now see in shot that looks a bit like a maggot was Richard's attempt during the Facebook Live at making one. So um, I didn't make that one. Richard did. 
Okay, so where the head is gonna sit, we're gonna flatten that area. And you'll see I've kind of got a head already made to one side on my left, but I am gonna show you how to make that again on here. I just made one earlier just so I could see what it looked like. So you're gonna take a small ball of black paste and we're gonna squash it a little bit and we're gonna put in some eye sockets. Now the eye sockets are actually gonna go pretty low down and far apart on this head. It kind of looks like a dog's nose at this point. Just swap in for a larger ball in tool to get bigger eye sockets there. Just check it fits on the top of your body. Now I wanted the top of the body of my caterpillar to be a little bit fatter than it was, but let's fill those eye sockets with some white paste. Made them slightly teardrop shape rather than completely rounded. And I think to solve the fact that I don't think the top of my body is wide enough, I'm gonna cut that top section off. I'm adding a bit more paste to that top section and I'm gonna add it on in two sort of two balls instead. So we're gonna press it onto there nice and firm and then let's stick the next one on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some little legs. So just roll the little ball, cut it in half. So we get these stubby little legs on there. And do that for each section, each little segment, apart from the end of the tail. We're gonna leave that without them on. And then I'm gonna take a little disc of pink. I'm gonna squidge that onto the top of the body. I'm just lightening just around the edge of it a little bit with my white pen. I only did this quickly, so it is a little bit messy, guys. Then we're gonna cut out some green circles for the iris of the eyes and some little black smaller ones for the pupils. Stick them in the eye, cut any off the edge that just sort of goes over the edge of that eye socket. I'm just darkening around the edge with a green fractal pen. So these are the edible pens. If you just put a little bit of water or edible glue in each eye, and then we could stick some little round balls of paste in there for the highlights, which I think always make the eyes look a little bit nicer. Just adding a second smaller one. And then I'm gonna add some water onto there and press the head on nice and firmly. Then we're gonna add a bit of color and pattern into our caterpillar using the black fractal pen again. So I do have a picture of the caterpillar that was using for reference on my phone. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you know what kind of caterpillar this is. I believe it turns into a moth. Somebody did tell me in the Facebook Live and I have completely forgotten. Now, if you don't want to use a pen for all this decoration, you can, of course, use just your food color painted on or your dry powdered colors mixed with like a clear alcohol or dipping solution to paint with. So here I'm going to take some of the white edible powder. I've got a fractal one here. Just mixed it with some dipping solution or rejuvenator spirit. I think it was I used for this one, which evaporates and leaves it dry when it sets. You can see where my paste has cracked a tiny bit on the tail where I kind of let it start to dry and then moved it about a bit. So just watch out for that when you are doing yours. And then I wasn't gonna add these bits at the end of the tail, but I think we will do. So we've rolled two little sort of pointy bits. I'm trying to color the end in pink and then a tiny bit of white. And then we'll stick these on. And I think I'll try and add the black stripes once they've set because it's moving around a little bit at the moment. And I just want to show you what the face looks like if you do it in a, if you do the eyes in a different way. So you don't have to stick paste on. You can just use that pen to color in. And I think I actually like it like this more. The eyes look less bulbous. So I'm gonna just pull this head off. And I think I'm gonna swap it for this one. So there we go. There's our caterpillar and our worms. It was just a quick one this time. I hope you're enjoying the Facebook Lives, guys. Don't forget you can watch the full version of this video. Uh, Richard does make his, but you don't see it in the Facebook Live. Our next Facebook Live is Monday at 10 a.m. if you want to join us. I'll put links below, guys, to our Facebook page so you can find it on there too. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.